So hey guys, the Gary O'Neill uh, pre-Crystal Palace press conference has just taken place over at Compton. And there's some interesting news that's coming out of that. Um, team news, of course, looking ahead to the game. And also, Gary was asked about some uh, transfer business, which I thought what he said was quite interesting. First of all, onto the team news. Uh, he expects Santiago Bueno uh, to be available uh, this week as well. Um, but in regards to Pedro Neto, he, he basically suggested that he is not yet ready to take part in a match, which is obviously uh, disappointing. Obviously, Dawson, we know, is out. Um, he was obviously uh, talking about the season as a whole. He was asked about that again. He said, if you take into account where we've come, what we've had to go through, the injuries and everything, we've got 46 points with this team. They've lost £100 million worth of talent in the summer. Uh, and we're on, uh, they got 41 last year. We've got the opportunity this weekend to get to 49. Uh, you know, overall, we've done really well. He was asked about, obviously, the uh, the form recently. And he said, well, obviously, uh, we've got some good results. We've had some decent performances, had some bad performances. We picked up some good away points. Uh, we had a good performance and he, he took it as a winner for the performance against Arsenal. Obviously, didn't get any points on that. Um, but obviously, we've been suffering with injuries. We are starting to get back. But obviously, he says Chani and Mateus Kuna are still obviously finding their way back to full fitness. Kuna is still having an issue, an issue with his calf, but wants to play and help uh, the team. Um, talked about Crystal Palace. Um, and the change of manager with Oliver Glasner coming in after uh, Roy Hodgson and how he's changed the team. He says, well, they've had a similar sort of situation really to Wolves with so many hours. They've got now Eze and Elise back. Glasner's come in. He's obviously made a difference. All those things coming together and they're playing really well. And uh, they're, you know, they're players, top, top players. And we've got to find a way to negate and stop them and stop them getting the ball. And um, yeah, we want to give our fans... A really good, you know, last home game of the season and give them something to enjoy and to smile about. On summer plans, um, he basically was asked about that. Um, he said they will sit down with uh, Matt and Jeff in the summer. He says, I asked if we were all on the, the same page and he says, I sincerely hope so. Um, you know, he, he's got his ideas on what he does. So is Matt. Uh, they'll sit down with Jeff. Um, and, you know, they've got plans that he knows what he wants to do. Uh, in terms of, like, having asked the question about having to sell players to, to boost the squad, he basically said, I don't think there will be money available to us without selling a player. The club is expecting for the foreseeable future to fund itself. Uh, however, these things can change, but I wouldn't expect it to be a summer where we spend millions and millions. We need to do some really good business in the summer. It's difficult to answer until it gets going, but we'll do everything we can. And he's also suggested, obviously, there's loan players coming back. They'll come back and we'll have conversations about what they want to do, how they're feeling about being here. Uh, it's, it's difficult to get a player to, uh, you know, come back off loan if they don't want to be here but they'll have conversations he'll have his thoughts and we'll and they'll go from there um uh, and uh, obviously he w went back to saying it's been uh you know how good was asked how good the fans have been he said the fans have stuck with us even through this difficult time with injuries they've stuck right through us through with us i think they understand really um where we've been and where we've come from what we've had to go but the fans have been magnificent uh and they want us to give them a good send-off um, at Molyneux, so that's the, the main point out at the press conference uh, that's taken place today. Leave your thoughts, obviously, in the comment section below. Hit, uh, hit the like button if you value these sorts of uh, videos. Of course, uh, there's our full match preview and our interview with the Crystal Palace fan ahead of the game. And make sure you hit the bell notification because there'll be loads of content coming up. Our reactions and match vlog after the game. And, of course, we've got Chelsea doing the watch along let's hope we can get behind her if you're not going to the game uh give her a watch and lots of support and let's hope we can get that win for her as well so yeah um leave your thoughts as i say until the next one always wolves